Hey, what's up everybody? This is executive consultant Doug Parker and really just touching base on a couple of things. I like to kind of give a couple updates. The other day I was in a meeting and someone had mentioned that they wanted to talk to their spouse as they were trying to make the decision on whether to get involved in the business or not. And you know, that's a common objection or a common thing that some people say. And the reality is that most people, whenever they say they need to talk to their spouse, it's just a delay tactic. And you know, we don't want to pressure anybody into doing the business. Either they see it or they don't see it, but that can be a really common thing for people to say. So one of the ways that, that I have learned over the years to kind of get through and get really down to the, what the real objection is, is to try to you know, ask a few more questions, go a little bit deeper. And so what we did in this particular situation, I was talking to the lady and she says, hey, I, I, I'm gonna talk to my husband. Um, you know, that's, that's really the direction you know, I wanna go. We talk about everything and this, that, and the other. And I said, I understand, no problem. I've been married for a couple of decades myself and I, I get it on needing to talk to your spouse. But let's suppose for just a moment that you didn't have to talk to your husband, what would your decision be? And so it gives you the opportunity for them to really process through and see is there something else that is truly on their mind why they do or do not want to move forward. What I found is if they're not uh, going to be able to, if they're not in on it at the moment, uh, their decision, if it was, were to be no, there's no way they're going to go home and talk to their spouse and talk to their spouse into doing it because they're going to take this hour-long presentation maybe we've done with them and they're going to collapse it into like five minutes and it's probably just going to go wah, 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 and go away. So uh, I think that's a really, I've used it many, many times over the years, and a lot of times people say, well, you know, I really like it, but, you know, I've got a few more questions on this. So it, it helps to uncover what truly what their objection might be, and it gives you the opportunity to provide them with additional information. Now, uh, as I've said a million times, you know, Zig Ziglar was a mentor of mine. Zig used to say all the time that people don't change their mind. They make new decisions with new information. So this is not some kind of a trick or deceptive type of a thing to do. It's just really trying to get uh, to the real objection, what the real one might be. And so many people, whenever they say they need to talk to their husband or their wife, you know, people just say, okay, we'll talk to him and let me know kind of what you think. So this gives you an opportunity to truly uncover what the real objections might be and see if there's a way that you can explain that, give them some new information so that they can make a new decision and possibly say yes. And many times, whenever you can properly explain it, they don't wanna go really and talk to their spouse about it. They just throw that out there. It's kinda of like whenever you go into Best Buy and you walk in and somebody says, can I help you find something? And everybody says, no, I'm just looking. I don't know how people are trained to say, no, I'm just looking. But the reality is, most people say that. Just like they say, I need to talk to my spouse, even though they really, don't need to. So um, with that, I just want to kind of uh, discuss that, give that as a tool you can put in your toolbox to use in the future. And uh, just remember, here's kind of how it goes. So if someone says they need to talk to their spouse, here's what you want to say. And you got to practice this because perfect practice makes perfect. So practice this. So if someone says I need to talk to my spouse, say, hey, I understand. Um, but let's suppose for just a moment that you didn't have to talk to your spouse. What would your decision be? All right. Thanks, guys. Go out there and be ambitious.